Hey, welcome back, everybody. Sign here again with another episode of my Sparse Stalker playthrough. And I just found the Splitting Axe. And, uh, the sucker's heavy. It's like twice weight regular hatchet. But I'm not going to know how good it is until, A, this freaking blizzard stops. I woke up in the morning and this thing is going full blast. And, uh, B, until I get it shortened up. But I'm out here just taking a quick peek, see if there's any like, sticks or anything around. And yeah, I'm not seeing... There's like a limb over there. Did you just suddenly stop being a blizzard? Oh, that's annoying. It's like sundown. All right, let's go try to find that wolf then. Seeing as we actually have visibility now. Hey, look, we got sticks. I think I just heard some ptarmigan up there. Love it if the weather was nice enough for crows to be out, because it would make it a lot easier to find a dead wolf. But since those jerks can run. Is that it over there? Dark spot in the hill? Maybe. Or it could just be a rock too, so who knows. Yeah, stayed in, made up a bunch of water, made up some coffee and tea and stuff. Yep, nope, that's a dead wolf. Both my arrows sitting right there. Sweet. Repaired everything I could, clothing wise, just to have something to do. Seem to be under the mesh. Uh huh. Great. Yeah, I'm glitched. <laughs> Well, I'll harvest this one too since I'm here. Um, yeah, so what it is, I saved my game, exited, log back in, and I'm standing over this wolf carcass on the freaking runway. Back at the airfield. Okay, sure, why not? <laughs> that was a nice little teleport trick. I. I did leave some stuff up there at the cabin, but it was junk. Uh, it was like empty cans and stuff, so... Not really all that concerned. Looks like no Aurora tonight, though. Which is, you know, honestly fine. Here's probably the best spot, right? Yeah, we can work with that. Work with that. These will not cure in here. Okay. Wow, that wolf meat was down to 4%.
Right then. Yeah, it's probably the closest building, right? And I've got other hides and stuff carrying over here, so. You know what we can do now, though? Can check trunks, finally. Absolutely nothing in there, but we were able to check it for once. And that did 1% to my pry bar. Downside is, pry bar really can't be repaired, so. What you can do is before they, well, or when they break, is you can harvest them and get some metal out of them, and that's about it. Guts. Hides. Cloth if I really wanted to. Let us go ahead and grab... Fire log here. Wonder if I can drop any of this Grab some sticks. Hmm. Do I want to bother with that? I was thinking about going out and cooking some of that wolf meat. Probably be a good time to leave the airfield though too. I mean it's clear weather. Not nasty. I do have the feet that actually makes it so I walk faster at night whenever the skies are clear. Come on, little fire. Or an Aurora, but that's clear skies as well. From the sounds of things out there, I'm glad I decided not to. That was the yeah. Forty three, forty four minutes, okay. Twenty three minutes to sharpen this thing, man. Because it's rancid. Okay. Why isn't it where the other one was? That would be why. There's sign. That would be why. It's not walking campfire. That hurts. Forty-four minutes. We have fifty-nine minutes left in the camp. So this counts as outside, actually. So the fire actually is lasting longer. That works. Well, we got it up to 54%. Half an hour left. Be 
You're the partial? Yeah. And you're the partial. Twenty-three minutes. Okay, definitely have enough time for that one. Thirty-eight minutes. Yeah. Alright, and I think I'm going to leave the skillet and cooking pot here, because I've got more elsewhere throughout the entire world. And that's like four and a half pounds I don't have to drag back. Currently we're at 113. It'd be 107 without this heavy splitting axe. It's really not the lightest you can choose from, no, but I'm curious to see how well it breaks things up. So a splitting maul or a splitting hatchet like that is not what you want to take to like a fallen limb and try to Okay. it. They, they're meant to cut with the grain, not against it. So, yeah. You know, that's one thing I have not repaired yet is my sleeping bag. Is it at? It's at 66% now. Four cloth, 12 minutes. That's it. All right. Yeah, we'll do that. And that gave me a bonus point to my repair skill, not to my mending. Which now? So 23 arrows, we have like six fire hardened arrows. Okay. Left one quality tools, yeah, right there. So I'm not gonna worry about those. We got regular simple tools here. Bat shards, huh? Some bolt boxes. Roll of tape. Driving gloves. Energy drink. I don't think I have any of those on me, do I? I have one. Okay, that's fine. Plastic waste. Brand new sewing kit. Trying to get things kind of separated out out of the pile so I can see what all I've got here. Oh. Got like six regular books for starting fires with. Old pelts that are like halfway cured. By the time I get back here, they will be fully cured. Hey, we get cured rabbit pelts, but I don't have anything those are used for. These are the Fresh ones we just dropped off, so I'll throw them on top. And let's see. Hammer. Potato. Torches.
think this stuff can all basically just stay here. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything in that pile that I really want. Well, maybe some granola bars, right? Mm, now we're doing good on food, too. Leave this here. Doesn't seem so crazy right now. Leave a little coffee here as well. Twenty-one calories. That's right. Yeah, forgot about that one. we're good. Um, I'll take a piece of coal just in case. That's what they're like. It sounds windy. But not like blizzard windy, so. That's not even windy. Yeah, it sounds a lot worse inside than it does out here. Break these down for wood if we need to. I can see if there's any just random stuff lying around. Doesn't look like it. It'd be really good for, you know, this game. A fat tire bike. You know, the all weather, all terrain bicycles. Going to there are spots you'd have to hop off and like you know walk the bike through, but still, getting through transfer pass that'd be awesome. It'd be so fast. Let's see, we have like it's a one percent chance. Yeah, okay, we're fine. So I have gotten nailed at a four percent chance before, so. If I get parasites, I get parasites. I've got enough mushrooms and stuff on me to get through. It's only 10 doses for when you're on Stalker. Let's see, I've got be three doses here. Four, five, eight, nine with the Burdock. Yeah, we just need to, like, literally pick a single mushroom somewhere. To be able to make two intestinal parasites. And I think we can find a mushroom. Or just a bottle of antibiotics somewhere. There's like an alternate path out of here, isn't there? I think I want to take that. I've taken it once before. But I think I was also recording that episode at like 3 a.m., so uh, hell if I remember where it's at. Hey, look, acorns. Don't care. This is that pathway back to the waterfall, isn't it? Hmm, maybe not, but... along the back wall of the area that takes you on out of here. Can't remember exactly where the access is. I think it's closer to Justy's.
All right, so. Grab a couple of these while we're up here. Maybe up that way? Further back there. I cannot remember if it'll like me right now, so. I'm gonna check this way first. Like this is not the way. Pretty decent view from up here, though. You know, it's like I can somehow clamber up that, but that looks to be way too steep to do that. Wow, you can. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking this is not it, though. saplings. I think we're good on those for now, though. Actually, a pretty decent collection of birch over there. What, four or five? It's basically right behind the hangar. After that buggy mod, you know, I still never figured out which one it is or was it was doing it. But uh, the one that was preventing sticks from spawning in. Now it's like I get excited when I see sticks still. It's, it's been fixed for like a month, and it's still just like, oh, stick. Here's the pathway. So. There's the tower there in the distance. There's the hangar. Let's see. Tower, and there's the hangar. And if there's birds out, well, there's a deer carcass here that you can probably track down that way. What's my weight doing? Oh, yeah, we got like 12 pounds to play with. Okay, cool. I'm looking forward to getting that moose hides hatch, although. I'm gonna have to give up an insulation, which is why I never upgraded the other improvised in it. I can't even call it improved insulation, it's improvised. Is this one? Yeah, improved down insulation. This one's improvised. Improvised is the standard vanilla item. The improved one is the modded item from Leatherworks. It looked really strange for a second there, because I didn't actually see the branches. It just looked like red dots on the face of the rock, and it's like, what the heck is going on here?
All right. Ah, Vista. I have no charcoal, though. Yeah, it would reveal quite a bit of the area. It looks like the latest map, uh, update of the map mod fixed it so it's not automatically surveying regardless of what your setting is. So. Fish up here, though. Yep, nope. It would be kind of funny if you could. Especially with all the multitudes of shelter around here, this would actually be a really good place to ice fish because there's windbreaks all around you. Hello. guys. Yeah, they're like right here. Right next to a backpack. This makes ptarmigan hunting so much easier. Being able to shoot while crouched. I'm not sure I can carry much more. There's like no predators up here either. Hey, sweet crackers. Look, there's the road. Mm, see, I think thanks to that, it's actually just a one-way trip to leave this area. I don't. You might be able to. Well, the previous episode just finished, finished rendering. You might be able to, like, if you can run, maybe ramp off of this rock here. get enough distance that you can land more safe something to play around with you know Kind of see the the rocks, but not really. Don't really stand out all that well. All right. Hilarious if we got him on the rebound. Oh, 
Hello, dead guy. Mm. I'll let you keep your scarf, though. I've got four ptarmigan and a rabbit in my back pocket right now. It's enough food for a couple of days. Wait till I get back to transfer pass before I do anything with them, though. They're like acorns. All right, so how am I supposed to get up here from down there? There's supposed to be a way you can get back over here, or get back up here from down there. and get one of these branches, I guess. And just kind of launch yourself. I don't know, I'm going to have to, I guess, watch a video or something that somebody else doing it so I can know exactly how to do it. But I know it's supposed to be possible. It's just... I'm not sure the exact, you know, route to... Do that on. I mean, we can get up this tree without a problem. Okay, no, don't do that to me. It keeps pushing me off to the side here on that branch. Shove me off to the side as well. Yeah, you are. You don't. Maybe the branches do this now to keep people from going where they're not supposed to go. Actually, I was on the face of that rock. That may be how you do it then. Okay. Because that would save a lot of time getting back in. Alright, it is... Yeah, it's close to sundown anyway. Let's go to the depot. Skin some animals. Maybe cook up the rabbit. I don't know. I mean, I've got a lot of processed food on me, so I'll be fine there. But honestly, I think there's enough food just found in the world that I can make it to 200 days easy without actually even needing to hunt or fish. Just thinking, I might come across another rabbit. I might go ahead and bag it and bring it with. I mean, deer are an option as well.
STCL. I'm not sure what that abbreviation is. Hey, look, no longer have a sprain risk. Uh, let's see. My wood needs to get out of here. 97% cured on the maple. I do have some cooked ptarmigan here still. So I may not even have to cook. Wow, moving so much faster now. Well, I have the wind to my back as well, that makes a difference. I always figured Mountain Pass would be up like that way somewhere. You see that pathway there? But uh, I didn't expect it to be sandwiched between the mine and the Forsaken Airfield. Yeah. Forsaken Airfield's underpass and zone of contamination. I figured Mountain Pass would be over here. Conductors drop off. I don't even think I can get up on these rocks to see better. Oh, good things. I imagine that's a kill wall. But I figured, you know, I mean, throw a rope here and there's your pass, right? You know, that would be the new area, but nope. Somebody needs to do something. One of the monitors needs to do something with that area down there. There's actually a group of modders that are uh, making an entire new selection of zones. I'm really looking forward to it's definitely really work in progress at the moment. And their Discord is by like invite only. But I've seen some of the screenshots of what they post and it looks amazing so far. Flying overhead, guys. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I'm not even seeing any deer out here. What the hell, man? Where'd you guys go? Just now, sundown. It looks like. Well, not quite the right green for presaging a, uh, an aurora. Yeah, I guess the plan at one point in time with these was to uh, you siphon, like, lantern fuel basically out of the. Uh, cast tanks and stuff. I wonder why they never continue with that idea. So much quicker to harvest than a ptarmigan is.
Yeah, it's a good thing I decided not to head out. And it got dark quick. I need to find a place to rest. Yeah, that is an out and out blizzard. So. Can be dropped Come over here. Drop the 16 down because I don't need to carry it with me. So, rabbit hide. Oh, I have some scrap metal on me too. Okay. How many sticks do I have? 22. Okay. And. A couple cans over here. Finish eating our ptarmigan. trouble. Ran myself out of water. Basically half hour, like two more sticks. Well, it doesn't seem like the lizard would last at all that long since an aurora came through. water do I have on me? Port. Okay. Yeah, it should work, I guess, right? The shirt. And... Alright, well. That away. Get that gut moved away from the meat. So I got two chunks of rabbit, four or five chunks, six chunks of ptarmigan. When I go back to Forsaken Airfield, I might take that with to make broth with. I don't know. Probably not. I'm not going to be that hard up for broth, so. Is there anything else I want to leave here, though? Might as well leave some matches behind. A couple tins of accelerant. Leave the crackers behind. Still hauling this heavy ass axe with me, but I want to try it out. So, wait, what's the percentage on you? Eighty-seven. Okay. I think I just have to get it over seventy-five, but get over eighty, and then it shouldn't be affected by the durability. Eighty-six percent now. Okay. 87%. Perfect. That will work out wonderfully. Now I just need to find something to shop. I'm just going to keep my eyes open as we leave.
But yeah, the Splitting Axe was a uh, mindful cabin. Just sitting in a little cart outside. I was like, hmm, okay, that's where you are. I don't know if that's the only place it'll spawn. Or if that's just a possible spawn location. But I know at least one place you can find it now. This will give me an idea, right? Five minutes. Seven minutes. Ten. Why the hell would I want the splitting axe then? Maybe it's better on, like, lens, right? Maybe. 45, hour four. Why bother then? Price is heavy and it's like it's worse. Which I mean would make sense on the limbs and stuff like that because Yeah, splitting axes are not yeah, they're too blunt for going across the grain. Hatchet on the other hand will take little chunks out of it out and you'll make a much better progress. territories for now we'll be back this is the one area that I wish though that had like a fast travel option after you do this trip a couple of times, you're just like, oh man, not again. It takes forever. It'd still be freaky if there's a wolf in here somewhere. Wolf or bear. Bear would be even worse. Hop out in this area over here and there's a freaking black bear patrolling. That would be, yeah. It definitely have a, a bit of a pucker value to it, that's for sure. I don't know, I mean, it's just this berry is long and boring and like, I think max of two wolves in the entire zone.
we go. And I'm kind of curious, actually. What are my skills at? Harvesting is really close. So it's cooking. Okay, good. I mean, it's not going to happen this episode, but maybe next episode I'll have. Well, it depends on how many things I kill between now and then. I should just kill all the bunnies I come across. Just harvest them up on the spot. Okay, we do have at least one wolf here. I just heard him howl. Now that I have a rabbit in my pocket, he'll come running. Yep. Thank you for the present, guys. Now, stuff's not going to cure in here, but that's okay. I can always grab it in the future when I go by. And, of course, I broke my arrow. Shot right over the stupid bunny's back. Yeah, he must have saw me again. Huh. I don't think it was close enough to send him into a panic, though. in there making progress that last little bit of a grind just thinking yeah, I could probably save some weight by leaving like the rifle somewhere safe but I really do like the rifle when it comes to timber wolves. I 
I am carrying two revolvers for that reason, too. So between the three guns, I have 22 rounds that I can pop off towards timber wolves before I have to worry about reloading. This is the whole reason I have two revolvers, because I'd rather just switch to a new one. That and they're both unique variants, so... Cold for a second there. Alright, now that we're on our way back here, we can check to see if this pry bar was here or if I really would have, you know, got myself stuck pretty good. Because so we didn't have a pry bar for the door in the service tunnel. And, uh,. I have all the options that I could backtrack over this and see if the pry bar is normally on this side of the door is there or not. Foundered track. It would have been painful, but it is possible to, like, finagle your way up here, so. so. I wouldn't have been completely stuck. It's just huge pain. Of course, the other option is to, you know, take the rope right there, because I completely forgot that it was even a thing. It's with ropes here. Well, we get the miner's flashlight. Cool. The light shell. Marine flare. Yep, the rope is here. Candy bar. Energy drink. This is actually loaded for everything else I've come across so far. That'll take us down to the cave down there. Which that's only really necessary if you don't have a pry bar to get through. Burpet trestle. Um, universal tweaks, I think it is. There's a setting to make it so that flashlights will retain their battery power outside of an aurora, but they'll only charge during an aurora. And I did not see the pry bar. It's usually on the ground right as you're entering in the tunnel. So, yeah, we would have been kind of stuck. Kind of would have climbed down the rope and go through the cave again. Yeah. That is pretty damn bright. Let's not do that again, shall we? Oh, that's right, yeah. Was that was out where I could see him. I was like, I knew I left something there, and it was probably not important, and it wasn't. It was not important.
I have way too much energy left for the amount of daylight left. So I was like, you know what? We're just going to do some running. I'll chance that later. Closer to bedtime. I just have bad luck with sardines. being in here during an aurora. Alright, so... Sticks. I think I left the rose hips alone over here too, right? Yeah, I did. Okay. I don't believe I left any water behind here, though. I can drop any of this gear. Let me up. Pooped him right towards me. Where did he run? Oh, there he is. He's still going. That is just a full out panic mode, is what that is. I gotta hide my arrows all the time. This way, there's a ptarmigan nest. Only two ways. Not hearing any though, so well, the wolves should all have respawned while we were gone. seeing them though. I mean I heard a couple howls but I'm not seeing any in the yard here. Well, wait a second. How long ago was it that we were 
maintenance yard. Day 53. Yeah, it's been a week. Here you guys are. Not too heavy to run. Carrying a car battery, so. Get out here on flatter ground. All right, come on. Ah, oh, you broke my arrow. Yeah, I don't need to carry this any further, so. That's just trash, okay. So, your wolf pelt, okay. We've got venison, we got moose. Is that ruined yet? Yeah, it is. Oh well. We can still cook it, so. Deer hide, we've got birch saplings. Grab a pelt. Your guts. Yeah, we're uh, pretty well set up around here. Rancid, huh? Is that 29%? But yeah, like I said, I don't think I left any water here. This is non potable. Yeah. To the lockers. And where the hell is this light coming from? There's... Just a phantom light source somewhere around here. expected honestly got a pair of work gloves I can bed for leather to repair stuff with oh yeah I forgot to have a regular revolver here too <sighs> took forever to find a pry bar but damn you know guns haven't been easy to come across but I think I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode uh, let me make a note here. It's Mackinac Mucklux and Hunting Lodge. Mucklux in the maintenance yard. So my two backup pairs of Mucklux are both from Broken Railroad, which is honestly not bad. I mean, it's pretty centrally located. But thank you for coming out. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and until the next one. Signs signing out. Have fun.